Hey guys, Krista here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my fall edition What's in My Bag, which also happens to be a Chanel denim dupe. If that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So I'm doing a What's in My Bag because I found this really, really cute denim bag um, and I wanted to share it. So anyways, this is what I'm carrying for fall. Um, it is a denim bag in... Uh, those of you who know, if you know, you know, um, this is very much giving um, a designer, it's, it's very much giving a dupe for Chanel's uh, 2020, I think it was like this, it was either their spring or cruise collection. I will pop it here. Um, and let me just explain i was looking for this bag uh well not this bag i was looking for the actual chanel bag when it came out in 2020 i reached out to my essay and it was sold out i could not find it and let's just also state that it had a pretty hefty price tag i think it was like 3200 dollars. i was willing to i wanted that bag let me just i wanted it desperately could not find it could not find anywhere to get it and then Every now and again, like I would check the pre-love market to see if I could find something similar. And if you've looked at it recently, they want over double. Like I think when I looked, it was like they wanted like seven thousand um, dollars U.S. I was like, yeah, I'm not. I don't want it that bad. So, anyways, um, I was, you know, you know, I was like, okay, well, if I can't have that, you know, maybe something very similar. Um, and I found one. In fact, one of the Instagram um, influencers I follow, uh, love her style, put her here. Um, I love how she styled hers, which is one of the reasons why I wanted one desperately and was willing to sacrifice to get it. But um, to no avail, I couldn't find it. But on one of her uh, shop, by, shop My Look, she linked something similar, which got me down this rabbit hole. So anyways... First, let me show you the bag. Um, this is a denim flap bag. And like I said, it's very much giving Chanel 2020 collection. So it does not come with this. I added this. Um, I bought this probably about three or five, five years ago. It's a chain um, and it operates like a top handle. And this is from HRH Collection. I'll link her Instagram or somewhere here. Um, and I think this is like the smoke. Anyways, so this does not come with the bag. Anyway, so uh, let's just talk about the outside. So it has the um, it has the twist closure, right? Um, very Chanel esque. And then it has the I think they refer to it in Chanel land. They refer, I think they refer, um, refer to it as the Mona Lisa um, pocket. Uh, clearly, let me say this is not Chanel, but this is very much inspired by Chanel's um, collection. Um, so it's not really a real Mona Lisa smell um, like my other Chanel bag, but it's giving what it needs to give. It has a really nice pocket and a phone can fit in there. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then, um, let's talk about the chain. The chain is pretty decent and has a leather, uh, chain. Let's see if I can go a little. So it has a leather chain. The chain is decent. I mean, let me just also, Chanel's version is 3000 plus dollars. Okay. So for a non-Chanel bag and inspired by this, I think they did a really, really, really good job. Um, and, uh, let me see, they did a really good job here. So, um, yeah, so that's that. And, you know, you get, so Chanel's version, which I'll make sure I put some pictures here. Um, it's just, the chain is like this all the way around. This inspired version is, has like a little leather piece. Um, Okay. So that's what that's what the chain looks like. But let's talk about what fits inside. Um, 
So, uh, what you're going to get, you're going to get a little pocket in here. Um, these are my work keys. You've probably seen these. Um, this is my Louis Vuitton, um, what do they call it? Key clay or key ring. Um, I keep all of my keys and they're my work keys, um, in here. And if you ever, um, and Louis Vuitton has several versions. They have this one and then they have like the six ring and the four ring. Uh, for my, you know, my girlies and my guys who have torn up enough P coats that have lined I have tore up so many of those and lost things in there because the keys are so jagged. They just tear up the lining in my expensive work coats. So um, I'm here for these key clays, which are designed to not to make sure that you can put your keys in your pocket without damaging the inside of your your jacket. So that's that. So you get this pocket here. Um, so let's talk about what I have in here. Um, I have my iPad mini, which I carry sometimes. I have some lotion, you know, it's winter, so I always like to try to carry some lotion. Um, I have my my ear buds. Yeah, they probably need to be cleaned. But anyways, um, I used to do the iPad, I mean the, 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 the wireless ones. And I think maybe a couple years, maybe like, four or five years ago, I, w I had them on at work at this job I had, and I was listening to music, and I was picking up somebody's conversation in another office. So after that, I was like, let me stick to these. And I'm sure Apple probably fixed that issue because they were Bluetooth. I'm sure they fixed it a long time ago, but I'm a creature of habit, so I always carry something like this. So nothing fancy. I just have my wallet. You guys don't want to see that. That's not really entertaining. Um, what else do I have in here? I have hand sanitizers, um, the spray kind. I got a couple of these. So I like to carry these in my purse. You never know. Um, what else do I have? Um, this is design. I, I I think I got this like at Etsy or something. I wish I knew who made it, but it's supposed to wrap up your little cords, um, so they won't be all dangly. I don't, I really don't know where I got it, but I keep this. Did I get this from Etsy? Or maybe I got it from Restoration Hardware. I don't remember. Anyways, this is what this is. Um, what else I got? So, I like to keep snacks in my purse. Um, almonds. My snacks of choice. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have, um, some emergency. Um, I, I'm on, like, a hybrid rotation, so sometimes I'm in the office. And you never know, you know, I try to keep the germs away, so I keep this in my purse in case I need it. I have three of those. Uh, what else do I have in here? Um, I don't normally keep um, nail polish in my purse, but uh, I did have a um, pedicure appointment, and this was the color that I wanted. Uh, and this one is, it's actually a summer color. It's OPI. It's uh, charge it to charge it to their room. Let me see. Can you? Oops. Can you do that? Charge it to their room. Um, I went to get my nails done and I picked this color, uh, one time, and then I wanted it again. So I found it on their website and actually ordered it from Amazon. So, uh, you may have seen some videos where I had this on. Um, anyways. That's what this is. And I don't normally carry this in my purse. It just happened. I, I guess I didn't pick it out. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I got two lotions. One of these are probably my car lotion. And I forgot to put it back in my car. Um, so that's supposed to be my car. Uh, what else do I have? I have some tissue. Um, one of my favorite things. I don't know. Uh, for my Hermes 
girlies and guys who love Hermes. Uh, this is one of my favorite SOGs from Hermes. It's their Bastia coin purse. I'll put it up here. Put it up here somewhere. Um, uh, so it's just a coin purse. Um, so what I like about it is that it has this little lip here so that you can like, you know, find the coins that you need. Um, love this. And I got this. This was like, if you saw one of my other videos I talk about that I get myself something for Valentine's Day. I think I got myself this for Valentine's Day. Psh, many, many Valentine's Day ago. I do really a bad job with this um, because I'll get ink on these. And it's hard to get them out because when you try to get the ink out, it it distorts the color, which is why. Because I try this here is me trying to get some ink out when I have ink pens ink pens in my purse. So that's what that is. So this is my Bastia coin purse. What else do I have? Um, this is also from Hermes. Um, let me turn these business cards the other way. Um, this actually is, um, let me put that in here. Uh, so, um, I love this color. Uh, and it's, this camera is doing it justice. It's really this pretty. Um, again, you see how I get, uh, when I have ink pens in my purse, they draw on it. And when I try to get the ink out of my coin, my Bastia coin purse, it just damaged it. So, we're just gonna rock with the ink on it, but um, this is a card case. I forget the name of this one. I'll put it here, here. I'll put it over here somewhere. Um, that I keep my business cards as well as cards from other people. Uh, and it snaps here. Love this. Uh, um. I have this measuring tape. I don't know what it's up with me and measuring tapes. You think like I'm an interior designer and I'm out here like measuring things and I'm not. But that is what this is. Um, it comes in handy for some reason, but yeah, I got this random tape measure in my purse. So there's that. What else do I have? Um, so um, this is my Holy Grail. I have a video coming comparing my SOGs from Louis Vuitton. And I checked. This is one of like, this is one of my favorite SLGs. Um, it is called the Mini Pochette, and this is the in the Demiri bin. It has a rare, a red interior lining. Um, I think when I bought this, this was like three hundred or three twenty five many many moons ago. Um. But I will say I have found this on pre-love markets for like $500. I would not pay more than $500 for it um, personally, probably because I also never had to pay what they're asking. Um, if you see the Louis Vuitton website, they're asking like 700 plus, which is like gripping my imaginary pearls. Um, that's a lot. But I also have this picture. Like, I have, this is, listen, I own this one and I also own the one in, um, in the monogram. Even though the price has drastically risen, this is a good buy. I know, I hate to say that, but it really is a good buy. Um, I think I have a picture I'm going to put that here as well if I can find the picture. This is like ages ago. I was rocking this like a purse. Um, this can fit a phone. Um, it can fit a phone. Let me, let me me First, let me tell you what's in it, and then I'm going to show you how it can fit a phone. I don't think it can fit a Pro because I have a Pro now, but like the regular size one, I used to put this, a small, um, uh, I had a small like little card case some chapstick some lipstick and i was out the door like you could not tell me anything i will um, again i'll put that picture here but like this was like i rocked with this but this right now this is my catch-all what i have in here i have some dental floss nothing fancy about that i have a charger to charge my phone and my well it looks like i just have my cords for my 
Um, I've had many, so I have this in here. This, I have my Chanel mirror. Love this, love this, love this. Um, I will pop it here. Um, really cute gift. Like, it's a mirror. Um, I'll put it here somewhere. Uh, for, you know, your good girlfriends or for yourself. They, I think they had for a time. They had them in different colors. I just have the black one. Carry this everywhere. Carry this everywhere. So I have that. What else? Um, okay. So I have a nail file. Nothing fancy about that. I actually have two of those. And two nail files in here. Uh, nothing nothing fancy about those. I have this glass nail file I found on Amazon, uh, which I really like. It's supposed to make your nails shiny. I don't know if you can tell, like, they're, they look shiny. Like, maybe I put some nail polish on. I didn't. I just filed them with this glass nail file. Like, DRM mode. If I can find it, I'll post it here. That's what this is. And you get two. So I, put, I, keep, I carry that. Um, and, uh, my favorite lipstick, this is the, this is the best red I've ever worn. Um, this is from, it's called the Lip Bar. Uh, I'll put it here. Um, it's a black owned, it's a black woman owned company. Every lipstick I own that I wear, I get from the Lip Bar. If I have some pictures, I'll put it here. But every lip color I wear is from this place and you can get them from their website and they also carry it in Target. It's called The Lip Bar. I don't know if you can see that. And this one is the best red of all red. This is Boss Lady. Um, get lots and lots and lots of compliments on this. Okay, so there's that. And last but not least, you know, you got to be prepared in a little bit of poopery because you know sometimes emergency hit and you got to be prepared so that's that that's what's in here let me put these things back um in there and my cords so that's that so let's take a look at the bag so this is it when it's empty um so that's what it looks like. Uh, it is, I'm gonna give you my measurements. See, it always comes in handy. So it's basically 11 inches by eight. And then the depth I think is like three. Let's see, it's about three. Oops, it's about three. Um, and you're and like you're not gonna guess how much I paid for this. It's like it's almost like a steal. Like that's why I had to record this. I mean, not this is not really luxury, but this is it's luxury adjacent because I had to buy this, and um, you're never gonna guess where I found it. Well, maybe you will. I will tell you where I found it, and I will put it up here. Oh, but wait, I want to show you one more thing. So. For those of you who know what the bag we're, I'm comparing this to, um, Chanel had two versions. They had this small, they had this smaller version. I put here, and they had this larger version. So this size is bigger than the sm smaller one, but smaller than their big one. This size, it's like in between that size. Um, but this is the medium size. They also have the have a larger size. So I'm let me just grab that real quick so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so they have two sizes. This is the medium, and this is the larger size. Um, so this one is going to be bigger than the one that the original in which all of these things are inspired. So, um, cause I believe the, the larger one is a 12. This one is a 14. Um, let's see. 
from grommet, the top of grommet to here. I'm gonna say it's about a 10. It has the uh, Mona Lisa-esque pocket. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, listen. It's a dupe, so don't come for me with the strings. Um, it's something that, you know, I'm sure the Louis, I'm sure the Chanel does not have strings and it shouldn't for $3,200. Um, but anyways, it has the pocket. Uh, and let me also say, if you order it, um, it's going to take a little while. It took two weeks to get here, even with Amazon. Don't be alarmed. It still will come. So, um, it looks like these are a little bigger. Again, leather or leather adjacent. It's smaller. It's slightly smaller. It's slightly bigger than the medium sport. Um, I'll take this out. because This literally just came uh, yesterday. So, I... I it just came. So anyway, so and it too has like the leather strap. Um, again the twist lock. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is what the large looks like on the inside. I'm like this feels more like a work bag. You could probably put a laptop, some books. Um, again, a small pocket. Um, yeah, so like the, the denim is nice. Uh, this still has plastic on it. Um, I, I haven't taken that off, but that's that one. Let me move this out the way. Uh, and then this was, and I've, I've been wearing this probably for a couple of weeks. You can see it has some some stains on there but I really could care less um but yeah I missed I took the plastic off of this you know but yeah like this is what's this is what I'm carrying right now for fall uh I I love it oh and here's the best part let me just also state you can I can fit my I can fit my planner in here I can fit my planner in here. It's gonna be a little tight, but it still fits. Um, I can put my planner, I can put my snacks, my emergencies, my hand sanitizers, my lotion, my work keys, my other lotions. Tissue. Put that in there. If I wanted to, I could put my nail polish back in there somewhere. And it's gonna fit. It's gonna be a little bulky, let's just be honest. But I love it. It's so stinking cute. It's so stinking cute. So I like to carry mine with the handle like this. Um, and it's, you know, it's fashionable and I like it. It's one of my favorite bags I've been wearing this fall. And, you know, I'm not going to be a gatekeeper and I'm not going to hold you, um, the medium at the time of recording this video is only drum roll. Um, make your best guess. Your the medium is forty nine ninety nine and no, yeah forty nine ninety nine and the large is sixty nine ninety nine. I don't know about you, but I think it's really a great dupe. Um, even it being a dupe, it's just a cute bag. 
um, and it's affordable. Uh, you would not believe how many times, every time I wear this bag out, be it I'm at the nail salon, I'm at the grocery store, I'm at work, people are always asking what it is, and they're like, is this Chanel? I'm like, it is not Chanel. Uh, it's Chanel inspired, but it's not Chanel, and you know, you can still be cute and contribute to your 401k, you know, a one is a one. Anyways, um, that's what's in my bag this fall. What are you guys rocking? And let me know what you think. And as always, thanks so much for watching.